welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Angel and today I'll be sharing with you some more fun and simple DIYs. Before we get started, as always, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and click on that little notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my future videos. My first thrift store project was inspired by this terracotta vase from Pottery Barn. Now I picked this up at my local thrift store for 50 cents, but these are similar to the vases you can get at Dollar Tree. And I went ahead and mixed some of my white chalk paint with some baking soda and I'm going to give it two coats. Now to make the handles for my vase, I'll be using some of this air dry clay. I picked this up at Walmart and it's just over two pounds and I think it's around $7. So you'll still have plenty to do more projects with. I'm just going to pull out enough to make two handles for this vase and you're just going to kind of squish it up in your hands and then roll it out. Then I did the second handle just the same, trying to make sure that both handles were around the same size. And if you guys hear my voice cracking a lot in this video, I'm sorry. My allergies are absolutely killing my voice right now, but I'm going to try to get through this. So once I had my handles all rolled out, I just kind of started playing with them on the vase. You can see I had to remove some of the clay. They were a little too big, but once I got them how I wanted them, I just kind of squished it and shaped it. And then I'm going to use some of Dollar Tree's gel super glue to attach these. Then I just let the clay and the glue kind of dry and harden for 24 hours. Once the clay was dry, I went in with some of my white chalk paint and I painted the handles because you probably can't tell in the video, but the clay is kind of an off-white color, so I just wanted everything to match. Then I'm just going to take some painter's tape and I'm going to wrap it around the bottom portion of this face. Now you can see I'm not putting this painter's tape on there perfectly. I actually want it to be kind of messed up a little bit so that you can get that abstract at the bottom. And then for the paint that I'm using, I just mixed up some of my metallic copper paint with some of my brown paint. And I did go ahead and do two coats of this paint on the bottom. And when you remove the painter's tape, then you're going to be left with this abstract design that looks similar to the Pottery Barn version. Then all that was left to do was just kind of take that same paint and put a few marks on the vase. And don't worry if you add too many, you can always just paint over it with the white. And if you don't add enough, then you can just add in a few more. And here's how the vase turned out. Now for this next project, I'll be incorporating some Dollar Tree materials to make this. I found these bamboo rings at Dollar Tree and I'll be using the large one for this project. And then I'm also going to be using some of Dollar Tree's wood planks. So at my local thrift store, I found these little trinket dishes. My thrift store has kind of a bunch of stuff that comes from Target, I guess. And I guess this was from the Target dollar spot, but they had a ton of these. And of course I bought them all. And I thought these little trinket dishes would be perfect to make a replica of a Pottery Barn candle holder that I saw. And so I went ahead and I gave everything two coats of my black paint. Once everything was dry, I'm just going to go ahead and use some of my Dollar Tree Gel Super Glue to start putting this project together. And for this project, I do recommend using something like the Gel Super Glue or some E6000 just to make sure that it stays together. Now for the part that's going to hold up that Target Trinket dish that I'm using for the candle holder, I'll be using two of these little wood tires that came out of the little car toy kits at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to go ahead and use some more of that gel super glue to glue one of these to the bottom of that trinket dish. 
Then I'm going to go ahead and paint that black as well. Then I just took that second wheel and glued it to the wood ring and I also painted it. And then I'm going to take some more of that gel super glue and I'm going to glue those two wheels together. And you may be thinking, why didn't you just glue it all together at once? And that's because I was letting all of the gel super glue dry before putting this fully together because I didn't want that trinket dish to fall over. I just added one of my Dollar Tree candles to it and this is how it turned out. I picked up this wood box from my local thrift store and you can see it's already been painted. I kind of wish it wasn't, but since it was, I went ahead and gave it three coats of my white Waverly chalk paint. And I'll also be using this Dollar Tree stencil set for this project as well. Now I went ahead and cut down the piece of the stencil that I wanted to use. This does have a sticky back, but I wanted to be able to reuse it. So I'm just going to use some painter's tape on the stencil to keep it in place. And then I'm going to use some black paint and one of my little Dollar Tree sponges to sponge the stencil on. Then I went ahead and used some more painter's tape to tape off a triangle on the side of the box right there. And I ended up doing this on the front and the back of the box and then on the sides of my box, I just used the stencil. I wanted to make some handles for my box and I picked up this faux leather from Dollar Tree. It's supposed to be for a Cricut, but I thought it would work perfectly for this project. So I did go ahead and I cut down four identical strips. Then all I had to do was just hot glue two strips together and then hot glue the other two strips together. Then I'm going to go ahead and hot glue both of those handles to the box. And finally, for this project, I'm going to be using some of these gold thumbtacks from Dollar Tree. And all I did was just hammer those into the little handles. You could use this box for many things, but I just added in some little plants and I definitely love how it turned out. For this final thrift store project, I found this wood wall hanging shelf at my local thrift store and I just thought it would be really cute for this next project. I went ahead and cut off the rope handles. I'm not going to be using those and I removed the staples from the back as well. To paint this shelf, I just mixed up some water with some of my brown paint. This color is Nutmeg from Apple Barrel. And I'm going to go ahead and brush this on and then I'll be taking a paper towel and I'm going to wipe it off just like a stain. Then I'm going to set that aside to let it dry and I'll be using some of this air dry clay. I got this at Walmart. This is what I had left over from the last video I made and I'm just going to take a pretty good piece of it and I'm going to start kneading it and rolling it around. Then once I'm satisfied with that, I'm just going to take one of my rolling pins and I'm going to start rolling this out. Now you don't want this to be too thick because it's going to take a really long time to dry, but also you don't want it to be too thin. I would say probably about a half an inch, three quarters of an inch thick. Now once I got it all rolled out, I just went ahead and started kind of shaping it into a square or rectangular shape. 
And then I'm going to be using these Dollar Tree Baby's Breath. You can use any flowers, of course. But I just thought these would be really pretty. So I'm going to take these. I'm going to lay them down. And I'm going to roll back over those into the clay. After about three or four times, then I'm very gently going to pull these little baby's breaths up. You may have to help these along a little bit and kind of push the clay down as you're pulling them up, but then it leaves this cute little imprint on them. Then I'm just gonna take a knife and my ruler and I'm gonna cut this down into a rectangle. Now I let this dry for about 30 minutes and you can see it's still kind of flexible. It is starting to harden up, but I'm going to go ahead and use some of Dollar Tree's gel super glue to glue this to my little wood shelf. And I made sure that I did cover up those holes that were at the top where the rope was. Then I just let that dry overnight and here's how it turned out. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.